Welcome back, Pure Structure Traders, for another market analysis for the London session and potentially into the U.S. session. Today is February 22nd, 2021 here in Hawaii and will be February 23rd, 2021 in London. Today we'll be going over S&P 500 and also gold, give you guys some levels we're going to be looking at during the London session and potentially those levels could hold up into the U.S. session. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see for the most part we had a nice downward move here on S&P into the U.S. session though we did start to climb a little bit higher. We came into a level of resistance right around these 3898s and then had a nice double top failure to move it right back down. So what are we looking for during the London session and potentially into the US session is for the market to gradually climb right back into those 3898.25s and look for the failure again. This is going to be a key level for us to look for right around this area for the market to fail. Hopefully get a nice maybe double top or head and shoulders pattern and pull that right back down get it back to those 8575s and then below that we could see the market try to come down into these 3870s and we got some support coming in at 3862 below that next level 3841 now if we do get above that area of 3898.25 i am looking for the market to probably climb somewhere between this level right here maybe 39 12 50 downside somewhere around here first levels about 3904 it's been a key area so 3904 and then above that 39 12 50 that's going to be our next level of resistance that we're looking at but one of the key levels again is going to be these 98 25s that's going to be an area of interest for me for a continued a continuation or short back to the downside now if we can't pull below these 8575s then i'll get out of the way on that short and see if the market tries to bounce from this area and then catch that support if we do catch it something like this then we are more than likely going to try to break that 9825 and then push up into those 04s and then 3912s as a level of resistance as well let's go ahead and take a look at a smaller chart so you guys can see what's going on there you can see a nice little movement Now we may have a slight resistance coming right in here on a low side right at these 93s. So we'll see if the market fails that area. 93 is my first minor level of resistance. Again, we could break through that area and just as easily get right up into those 98.25. So this is more of a major level for me to look out for a nice double top, potentially a pullback. Maybe get some resistance up under that level and then try to pull it down from there. So we'll see what happens there. Again, if we are going to look for the support after we get the rejection, so if it does reject here and come all the way back here, we're going to look for these 84, 85s as a nice opportunity for a bounce for a continuation to retest those 98s and try to push it through. Now, if we get underneath these 85s, Maybe get some resistance and try to pull this down into these 80s and then potentially into those 70s down below. So we'll see if S&P 500 gives us that opportunity. Let's go ahead and move over to gold. Give us some looks at uh, the levels that we're looking for on gold. Now we had some nice resistance which acted as resistance. You can see we plotted them out and now those resistances are acting as support. So you can see 1810 is our first area of interest here on gold for that support to hold. I want to see that market come back into this area, bounce from these 1810s, and try to get a move right back to the upside. If we can do that and hold these 1810s, that's going to be a great move. Next level of resistance going to be right around those 1819.2s. That's my next level. Now, if we get up underneath this 1810, we could see the market try to fall into these 1807s and below that 04. And then underneath that, we got some levels of support, 1799.7. 94.4 and then 91.9 is my next level under the 94 so that is what we're going to look at now we do have some levels below and above but we're going to allow the market to get into our levels that we have plotted right now and see the reaction or that price action movement and the structure that it creates let's take a look at a smaller chart here on gold give you guys maybe a little bit more closer of a view so you can see what's going on what's taking place here we have a nice support trying to come up right around this area to support that but i do want to see this market actually fall maybe a little bit deeper but right now you can see it's holding this nice area right here and 
Uh, for all of those that's been part of peer structure trading and that will be part of peer structure trading uh, in the future, you're going to see how price action and market structure fall hand in hand together and how they're so important in actually trading and understanding and reading these markets. Um, by far, probably way more important than any strategy, any edge tool is the, your, your ability to read market structure and price action correctly and then use that in you're trading on a daily basis to find that consistency right understanding patterns like flag patterns you know bullish bearish flag patterns you know um, double tops triple tops v bottoms head and shoulders inverse head and shoulders all of that will make sense and does actually is a very important part of trading but only makes sense after you understand how to correctly read the market structure and the price action movement then you can actually understand how to apply the patterns to the context of the market or whatever strategy that you're going to build up along the way how you can apply that specific approach to the correct context of the market remember context is almost the most important thing here in trading is understanding the context in which you're putting the strategy on in the market uh, so to do that you need to first be able to correctly read the market's movement right and that's the whole purpose of understanding your levels your price action and your market structure so again we want to see this hold right here for that bounce for the continuation again we could get maybe a deeper dive right here at 1810 and maybe even down here you can see another level right around these 1809s close to that 1808 Right around this level, we could see the market try to pull right back in. But if it fails, comes right back up, this is going to be another opportunity. Again, you'll see that nice inverse head and shoulders pattern play out for a market movement to the upside. So we'll see if the market does that. Potentially can hold this level right around 1811 and then kind of go from there. So we'll see what happens there. Um, but that is it for S&P 500 and also gold. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you guys have any questions, feel free to pop them in here on YouTube. If you guys did like these videos, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you guys did not subscribe to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. If you guys, again, have any questions, feel free to pop them in here. If not, you guys take care. Have a great night.